channel so for today's video I'm obviously going to be doing a very natural you know everyday five minute makeup wear yeah no today is all about I love Halloween I love Halloween makeup I love watching people create Halloween makeup I love seeing people in Halloween costumes so this creature that I created kind of came from um, a spin on the Greek mythology siren I love sirens and mermaids and ocean creatures and all that kind of stuff and I wanted to kind of take a spin on that so this creature lures men in with her looks and her charms <laughs> And don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. So to begin, I'm going to take an Elmer's glue stick and glue down my eyebrows. And I'm just using a flat kind of spatula tool to put the glue on my eyebrows. Now I'm going to color correct my eyebrows and I'm just going to go on top of my eyebrows using a red lipstick. Now I'm going to go in with some translucent powder and set the eyebrows. I'm going to go in with my foundation on top of my eyebrows just so I even out everything and so it looks like I have no eyebrows and everything is one color. As you can see, I'm just laying the liquid latex down and then putting the cotton balls on top of it and kind of pulling the cotton balls once it's on the latex and stretching it. Now I'm going in with more liquid latex on top of the cotton balls just to kind of set it in place. And I'm just kind of making random shapes for the gashes in my skin. Not really going for anything specific. So the process is latex, cotton ball, then more latex on top of the cotton ball. Now I'm going to go in with a tiny pair of eyebrow scissors and I'm going to cut the inside of the shapes that we made so it looks more like flesh that is kind of peeling back. It's kind of hard to explain but you can see what I'm doing. So now I'm going to begin the process of painting my face and chest. And they didn't have the color I was looking for, so I got a green, a blue, a white, and a gray paint. And I'm going to mix the colors together until I'm happy with the color that I get. And I just got these little paints at the Halloween store. The color was a little too blue for me once I put it on my skin, so I just mixed in some of my foundation with it. Turn 
Now I'm gonna go in with some concealer and just put it in the normal spots. Just to bring back some more definition to the face. Nothing exists save empty space and you. And you are but a thought. I'm gonna go in with my 35B Morphe palette. And I'm gonna start by taking this dark blue color and I'm basically just gonna use it as if it were my bronzer. I'm gonna take the same shade we were using as our bronzer earlier and I'm just taking a flat definer brush and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. Diffuse out the color we just laid down. And for my contour, I'm going to use this dark green color. I met this six-year-old child with this so now we're going to start the point of focusing in on the little um, holes all over our face and body. I'm going to start by filling it in with this stage blood. To apply my seashells, I'm just using a spirit gum. Okay, so the spirit gum wasn't really working out great for me, so I'm just gonna go in with some eyelash glue. I'm just taking the fake blood and kind of squeezing it in little areas just to make it look more bloody. I did have a wig for this look, but I decided to go with the wet hair kind of vibe. So here's the final look. I had so much fun creating this version of a siren kind of water creature. I've always been obsessed with anything to do with the ocean and the water. I wanted to kind of challenge myself and push myself past just the normal, cute, trendy things. I think it turned out really great. So yeah, I really hoped y'all enjoyed watching me create this creature of mine and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you in my next video